Hello everyone. Today we'll start with a new interesting topic, and that is soul gel theory. So we see there is there are amoeboid movement in amoeba, right? In um in amoeba-like organism, there is amoeboid movement, and it is due to the formation of pseudopodia. We know it, false feet, right? So this is also called this lobosia. So today we'll start with this um, locomotion in. this omega and for locomotion a specific theory is given and that is soul gel theory and it's very important that it is given by firstly hyman in 1970 and then after later it is modified by this mast and patin in uh, 1925 right so let's start this theory this is soul gel theory and uh, And so the first three we have to we should have this knowledge that who given this theory, and after uh, late this mass in Britain uh, in nineteen twenty five right after uh, the f- first thing uh, that is very important in this theory to know is like that the protoplasm of amoeba is made up of two. things right the outer one is called the ectoplasm and inner is called the endoplasm right and the ectoplasm it contain gel part and gel is a solid thing right and this endoplasm it contain a soul part that is a liquid thing so the outer part contain outer part is ectoplasm it contain a gel and the inner part is endoplasm and it contain liquid right so here in this theory we see there is there are conversion the formation of pseudopodia is because of the conversions it is soul will uh, convert to gel and the gel will convert to soul so there are two things gelation and solution will happen so see in the ectoplasm if we see the, it contain a gel part right so gel part will con- convert to the soul part and if you see the endoplasm here you have seen that you will seen that there is there is a soul part in this endoplasm so this soul part will convert to gel part right this liquid will convert to solid and this solid will convert to liquid so soul is here liquid just um, it is reverse right soul is solid and solid is converted to gel that is a so, um, liquid is converted to gel so this liquid is converted to solid means soul is converted to gel by losing water and gel is converted to soul by gaining water this is solution and there are two types of protein here uh, for the formation of this gel from soul the protein famelin and this actinin helps in uh, gelation and in solution process the two proteins like bilin and geosolin fine and this calcium ion also regulate hold the transitions so this is basically happening uh, in the protoplasm of amoeba and this is controlling all the movement right so this is controlling the pseudopodia uh, pseudopodial uh, movements right in amoeba so amoeba moves from one place to another via pseudopodia everyone know it right and amoeba is uh, in this pseudopodia is just a finger like projection like temporary process to gives um, from any part of the body so it is given it is given or it can be projected uh, from any part of body of amoeba the pseudopodia right and the pseudopodia is in the form of projection right in the ectoplasm so it is pseudopodia pseudopodia is basically uh, forming in the ectoplasm part in the outer part right and there is a uh, there is a flow of this endoplasm into the ectoplasm because of that the pseudopodia is formed after the important point is that amoeba which is very important that this amoeboid movement is result of four changes and this four changes are the attachment of the body of, of the amoeba to the substrate so firstly this amoeba will attach to a substratum and the chemical signals will come to the receptor part of this amoeba right and after what happen the conversion of this plasma soul the soul will convert to gel that is gelation will happen and this gelation will happen soul will convert to gel in the ectoplasm part obviously because soul is in the ectoplasm right this is the ectoplasm inner part so this will convert into soul will convert into gel the soul is basically uh, liquid and liquid will convert to solid in the inner part right and the conversion of um, and vice versa will happen in the ectoplasm that cell just gel will convert to soul in the ectoplasm so the gel is basically uh, solid it will convert to a liquid in the ectoplasm finally Uh, this conversion will happen and um, i've been i will all i'll already you know um, explained you the proteins right i've given you the name of the protein which is helping in the solution and gelation so this solution and gelation will happen in the second and the third step in the fourth step this uh, con- the, you know the contraction of this plasma gel of the this this basically this uh, gel part 
after conversion after conversion of the soul um, to the gel in the inner region gel is basically solid so this gel in the inner part will just uh, move forward the ectoplasm part and will just form a projection and because of the projection this pseudopodia is formed and this projection this pseudopodia is formed it will just give a finger like projection finally according to this theory the pseudopodia result in the formation uh, of all the colloidal changing which is happening in this protoplasm right so in the peripheral cytoplasm the soul will con gel will convert to soul which means that the um, the proteins like actin or myosin uh, that will isolate and rather they will assemble in a filament single filament right that's why this gel is converting to soul right in the this uh, what part in the peripheral cytoplasm in the ectoplasm right so um, so and uh, the other thing is happening that um, after this this is a depolarization depolarization of acting filament this is that is resulting in solution and it will just increases the osmotic pressure in that ectoplasm and if in, in, it increase in the ectoplasm then water will, uh, will move towards um, the where the you know, this uh osmotic put pressure is more and water will come out from the endoplasm the ectoplasm and it will result in the formation of a pseudopodia and actin sub units repolarizes um in the inner part and it will form dilation will happen in this inner part and after the uh, endoplasm will move forward resulting in the pseudopodial formation so this is all about happens you know in this uh, soul gel theory and um, this pseudopodia is formed continuously in one direction so it, there is it is always form in an only particular one direction right and it is dependent it is a temperature dependent process so if you see there there is low temperature then this um, uh, this locomotion is very slow and if even in the low temperature the freezing points this um, locomotion stops right so this is all about solar theory